I gotta count this cash. You wanna racks, had to buy me a bag. Christian New York, tennis shoes with a rack. I don't like snagging my belt, cost a rack. Go up to a bank, catch me back. What's up, guys? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. It's the natural guru here, and I'm coming at you with another video. This is gonna be kind of like a tough video because, like, my emotions may be all over the place because it's like. There are some people out there in the world who think they know everything that goes on behind closed doors and you don't. And then there's a lot of people who think they just know every single thing that happens like in my life. Like I don't post everything, but sometimes when I do post stuff, y'all don't see it and y'all try to come at me real bad and stuff like that. Like, no, you need to take a chill pill. Like, no. So this this video will be about my ball python some of y'all know i had a ball python his name was Zeno. he was a real cool dude he was a real chill dude and like i had him for like four months maybe three i don't really know but Zeno was a gift i got him from petco my friend bought him for me my freshman year of college because like i don't know i don't know how he ended up he ended up buying that snake for me but he did so he bought me a snake and um as far as I know it was a good snake like you know what I'm saying it was a real good snake and I liked him a lot I did my research about snakes before we bought the snake I got the enclosure I had got everything for the enclosure and a lot of people y'all out there talking about I didn't have everything for his enclosure y'all didn't watch the other video y'all didn't watch the video completely y'all didn't watch the other video because it was two parts to that video and then, like, there are some people saying, like, his enclosure was wrong. And yada, yada, yada. You can't do this. You're supposed to do that. You're supposed to always have this. Like, shut up. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? It's a lot of people who think they're a fucking snake expert. You're not a snake expert. Like, some of the stuff that y'all are saying are completely wrong. And y'all are just absolutely incorrect. Y'all couldn't be more wrong than me putting it together. But anyways, <laughs> but anyways, let's get into what happened to the snake. So, no, no, let's get into the stuff I got for the snake. Because y'all said that I didn't have a thermometer for my snake. I definitely had a thermometer for my snake. I had the heating pad for my snake. I had all that shit for my snake. I had the hides for my snake, etc., etc. I had all that shit. Because I made sure I had it. Before I got the snake. And if I didn't have it, I made sure I got it for the snake. You know what I'm saying? Why would I get a snake and then have ass treated right? Like, that doesn't make no sense. Why the fuck would you do that to an animal? But anyways. <sighs> but anyways. um, Yeah, so like, come to find out, like, after I got Xeno, people were telling me about Petco and why I got the snake from Petco. Petco don't have good snakes. Yada, 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 yada. I didn't know that. That's the part I didn't know. That's the part I didn't research. I did not research where is the best place to get a snake. I only researched the nearest place to get a snake. So, yeah, I guess that's, like, on me or whatever. But I don't even... I wouldn't hold that against myself because, like, when I go shopping for food, I don't say, oh, what's the best place to go get strawberries? I don't do that shit. I just go look for the strawberries. And if it looks the strawberries look good, I go get the strawberries. So that's exactly what I did to Zeno, period. So, like, um, yeah, obviously, well, apparently, you're not supposed to get your snake from Petco because they don't have good snakes. I don't know where they came from, but I know a couple people were telling me that, but... I don't believe it, but <laughs> I guess it's true because, like, my snake wasn't a very good snake. When I got Zeno, Zeno was not like any other snake. Zeno was the most nonchalant, chill snake I had ever held, even though I only held one snake. Well, no, no, no. I held two snakes. I held one snake, and it was snapping at me, and I held Zeno. Zeno didn't bite me and like that. Zeno would always sit on my wrist, and he just chill there. He wouldn't do nothing. He wasn't a very active snake. I don't know what was wrong with him. But we're going to get into that later, though. We're going to get out, get into what happened to Zeno and what caused this stuff to, to, to get caused. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, anyways, I, kept, I just remember, like, I kept trying to get Zeno to eat. And he wouldn't eat his food. he just sit there and look at his food and stuff like that. Um, I can just imagine y'all in the comments right now going, he wasn't used to his enclosure. He didn't like his enclosure. I can just, <laughs> I can just imagine y'all in the uh, comment sections right now, just tearing my ass up. 
<laughs> but it's like, yeah, he wouldn't eat. Uh, throughout the time that I had Zeno, he only ate once. I've tried to feed him like every two weeks or even stretch it because like they say snakes can go up to six months without eating. So I was thinking of that I got his rodents and stuff like that. He was a baby, you know what I'm saying? You ain't supposed to feed him like every week. I fed that I tried to feed him like at least twice a week, maybe three. Yeah, maybe three. But um yeah, so like he wasn't eating, so I started to get a little worried and stuff like that. Cause every time I come back from like my classes and stuff like that, like when I was in college, I had classes like Monday through Thursday. So like, and it was like classes like back to back, back to back. So I was going from the house and back to school, from the house and back to school, and I would see like no progress with the snake. And I do the little thing. They say you're not supposed to feed your snake with um your hand, but this that's how he took the food. After that, he just didn't eat no more. So, like, I started to get worried. So, I started keeping a close eye on him. I check on him, like, every day. And I let him come out his enclosure, let him play sometimes. Because, like, I don't want him to be all cooped up and shit. Mm. Y'all, I'm trying to recall. Because I had made this video before, but the video never got posted. And I don't know why. It just never got posted. Y'all see the fit? The fit look good, don't it? I know, right? Orange, bitch. Orange is the new black. You know what I'm saying? Let's just hop right into it. <laughs> One day, uh, I come home, and I'm looking at Zeno. He's just in his, his hide, and he's chilling and shit on his heat mat. And, um, oh, yeah. Speaking of your heat mat, I do make sure that his shit is warm. I keep it at, like, a 97. It Was it, like, a 97? I don't know, y'all, it's been so long, but it's probably, like, a 97, but I didn't want it to be, like, too hot, because, like, you know that you can burn the scales on the, um, the snake and shit, so I didn't want to do that, Ooh, so I had to adjust it every now and then, so it wouldn't be too hot in that mug, and, um, yeah, he's, he'd always sit right there, he was a nice, cool, little chiller, but, you know what I'm saying, he was, he didn't do too much, like, he literally ain't do too much, he just, he just sat there. And he would just look at it. So, like, this one day I seen him in his enclosure. And he just was moving, like, all around. He was moving so fast and stuff. And I'm just like, I'm like, what's what's going on? So, I'll just, I go pick him up and stuff like that. And he just, like, he's, like, all limp and stuff. You know how snakes, they sit up like this? He, he, would, he would fall over like that. Like, <laughs> he just go like this. He would stand up and then he just fall over. And I'd be like, what the hell going on? And so, like, I, um, I called the animal hospitals and stuff like that. I live in Alabama. Like, come to find out, Alabama don't take reptiles. How you sell reptiles, but you don't, you, you, you discriminate against reptiles in the hospital. Like, that doesn't, that doesn't correlate. Like, I had to drive, like, out of town to get him to the hospital. And that's how that's that's how he died. <laughs> literally, that's like how he died. Like literally, like I'm calling the hospitals and stuff. I think I spoiled the video. I don't want to spoil the video, but it's like um, I'm calling the hospitals, and I call like five hospitals, and like first they was like um we don't take reptiles, so I keep calling, I keep calling, and I'm um I called this one hospital. It was in it was like. 10 15 minutes from where i live and they said they take reptiles over the phone so like i drove you know ass to the fucking hospital and we get to the hospital and they're like oh we don't take reptiles what do you mean you don't take reptiles when you just told me that you take reptiles you know what i'm saying and they're like oh i'm so sorry ma'am i'll go call I go call this hospital and see if they take reptiles or you should go to that hospital and see if they they take reptiles so i did that and they didn't take reptiles. So, like, I get back on Google and I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I started looking for uh, animal hospitals outside of my city. So, like, I drove, like, three hours outside of my city just to go uh, take... No, no, no. I'm lying, y'all. I'm being so dramatic. I'm being so dramatic. <laughs> I drove, like, 30 minutes <laughs> to go uh, take Zeno to this other hospital. So, I get to the hospital, and uh, Zeno, he looks like he's doing fine, you know what I'm saying? Because at first, he was all limp, and he was all loose body and shit like that. But I kept him under the heat in my car, and I kept, like, a hot water bag around him, if that makes any sense. They had, like, these little water bags full of hot water, and you can stick it, like, on your reptile, and then, like, have it sit there so it can warm your reptile up. 
And so I did that on the whole drive there. And when I got there, he was looking good. You know what I'm saying? He was moving. He was chilling. Stuff like that. I held him. He was he was cool dude. You know what I'm saying? So I get inside the uh, hospital and the doctor isn't there. I get to the hospital and the doctor isn't there. <laughs> so they called the doctor and tell her to uh, come down there and stuff like that. So I wait about like at least 10, 15 minutes and she got to the hospital and she takes Zeno back there. And she's looking at Zeno and um, she's asking me about his enclosure. I told her about the enclosure. I had pictures of the enclosure. I gave her the pictures of the enclosure. I asked her, I was like, uh, is this a good enclosure? Because like, I was like, Oh, I'm not sure if this is a good enclosure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She looked at the heat pad. She asked about the thermometer and shit like that. And then I told her about it. She was like, well, I don't see anything wrong with your enclosure. And I was like, okay, well, then I don't think none of this is my fault. So I personally thought that Zeno had an infection. You know those infections? I can't remember the name of it. I thought he had the infection where, like, he can't breathe. But you can't see anything around his mouth, like, Nothing was, like, clogged around his mouth. His mouth was looking fine and stuff like that. So, like, I didn't think it was that. So, um, she takes him to the back after we get done talking and stuff like that. And she starts, um, she starts, oh, yeah, I told her that she would, he wouldn't eat. So, like, she starts to try to feed Zeno the food. And she told me that at the time Zeno was trying to get the food, but he was too weak to eat it. So, I was like okay like <laughs> i was like okay he was too weak to eat the food so i asked her i was like well can you give his him his food through a tube she was like well Zeno is just a baby and she didn't want to do that to him because it could damage his insides you know what i'm saying if you try to force feed him the food so she didn't do that so i started crying <laughs> so i started crying and i was like oh <laughs> Like, I was like, dang. I was like, why? <laughs> why you got, why you had to do this? <laughs> and so, and she tells me, um, she was like, well, you can put him down. And I'm like, go ahead. Go ahead and put him down. He's been through enough. Like, Zeno been suffering since I don't know how long he been suffering. But I know that he wasn't trying to eat. I know it wasn't his enclosure. Don't look at me about the enclosure, y'all. I swear, I promise you, that was not me with the enclosure. I feel like the thing that made him die was because I, t I took too long to find the hospital. I woke up around 10-ish, maybe, maybe 9-ish. And by the time I got him to the hospital, it was, God damn it, 3 o'clock in the fucking afternoon. <laughs> It was 3 o'clock in the afternoon, y'all. And I just feel like if I would have got him to the hospital quicker, it would have been better. But I just feel like I got the runaround about the python because, like, like how do you not take pythons, like, when you sell them? Like, how does that even, like, that don't make no sense. I should not have to drive, like, three hours just to get my snake to the hospital when it only took me like 15 minutes to go get him like that doesn't make no sense but um yeah i feel like they just discriminated because they only took cats and dogs and shit that shit made me mad as fuck <laughs> but yeah she told me that you know i had low calcium low calcium means that he was cold but being that his heating pad was always on and stuff like that I don't know how he was cold. His enclosure was always closed. It had little locks on it and shit. So I made sure that he was locked in there because Zeno would definitely, Zeno would put his head up on a thing and he'd try to like get out. <laughs> that was so cute how he put his head up on the thing. But like, yeah, he tried to get out his enclosure so I made sure that it was always locked. But yeah, he had low calcium. We don't know the cause of why he had low calcium, but he did. Um, yeah, he died in the hospital. That's what happened to the python. And I just feel like, I don't know, I just don't want to talk about it because, like, I just feel like it wasn't my fault and that I should not get another snake because I don't even know what how the hell he had hella calcium. Like, I got turtles and stuff in my backyard. I got, 
like multiple cats i had a pet lizard i had a pet turtle that lived in the house like but my snake died from i feel like that was a natural cause <laughs> Guys. but that's not my fault and if you wonder if i'm gonna get another snake i'm not because i feel like xeno is low-key kind of weird because like it's just xeno is low-key kind of weird because like i've never in my life seen a snake just you know chill like that he was chill with everybody xeno wouldn't bite at all like <laughs> xeno would see you and he like come to your hand and he just sit there in your hand he's so cute so adorable and so little you know what i'm saying but um yeah that's the end of the video bye guys be easy be easy